Are you a fan of handwritten doodle-filled notes? I sure am. And like me, are you also a fan of Obsidian's powerful linked notes? Do you wish there was a way to make them work together? Well, I'm happy to say there is. In this video, I'll show you the process I've developed for taking handwritten notes in a journal or digital art app and making them work alongside Obsidian's text-based notes. I'll show you how easy it is to import them into Obsidian and organize them into browsable image galleries using some of the most popular community plugins. Let me show you how it all works. Now before I jump into it, I know there's going to be people out there who are going to point out the handwriting plugins that are available inside of Obsidian, things like Excaladraw. I've tried these plugins before and they just aren't quite tuned the way that I like them to be. My favorite app for handwriting and drawing my notes is Concepts, which I'll get to in a minute. I also like including drawings that I've done in a physical notebook, and that's obviously something I can't do with Excaladraw. The main visual note-taking I've been doing lately is summaries of the books that I've been reading. I have a dedicated journal just for my book notes. I'll go further into my book notes process in a future video. When I'm done creating a visual note inside of my book journal, or inside my bullet journal, I snap a picture, make some minor edits and tweaks if the lighting isn't quite right, and then I save it to my Obsidian Vault. As mentioned before, my favorite digital handwriting app is Concepts. This is because it features an infinite canvas, so my ideas can flow and grow as big as they need to. Once I'm done creating a visual note in Concepts, I simply export it and save it to my Obsidian Vault. Now, it's been shown in various research studies that handwriting your notes helps you retain information better, and adding drawings into the mix further solidifies this retention because you're using two points of reference, text and drawings, to help your brain recall what you're learning. Visual note-taking has helped me personally remember things I've read so much better. It's a skill I'd like to keep sharp, so I've been taking some refresher classes over on Skillshare. They are the largest online learning community for creatives, with thousands of classes led by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. Skillshare can help you take your career, skills, hobbies, passions, or side hustles to the next level. For example, I love enhancing my YouTube videos with short animated segments, and the Learn to Animate class from Skillshare top teacher Shiban Tooney has helped me sharpen my 2D animation skills, allowing me to add more fun and whimsy to my videos. You can add this same fun to your notes with classes on sketchnoting. I've been watching Catherine Madden's class to remind myself of the basics and improve my live sketchnoting skills. There are other great classes on sketchnoting to choose from that I'll be sure to watch in the future as well. Want to dive deep into a particular skill? Skillshare features learning paths which are curated sequential class collections designed to help you master a skill in no time. Start to build your habit of creativity by joining Skillshare. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today! A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now that I have my visual notes inside of my vault, I need a useful way to display them. There are a couple of different ways that I've seen to be able to create image galleries inside your vault. The first step is by creating an obsidian note for each of your visual notes. I create a property for the image URL, and then I include the image in the body of the note as well. I then give it a tag of visual note or sketch note. We're going to need a couple of community plugins and a theme to build our galleries. The first method uses the data view plugin as well as the minimal theme by Capano. Once we've got those installed, we'll create a new note for our gallery to live in. We're going to give it a property of CSS classes and the value is going to be cards. Then we're going to go down and write a data view query. We're going to create a table, then we're going to use a function called embed to get the image to show in our gallery. The source of this gallery is going to be the tag that we gave all of our visual notes. If you have other metadata associated with your visual notes, you can add those in here as well. Once we've got this data view block finished, we can click out of it and now see our gallery of visual notes. The other method for creating a gallery requires the projects plugin. You can go ahead and install that in the Community Plugins tab in the settings. Once you've got the plugin installed, you'll create a new project. The source of the project will be a tag, and it will be that tag that we have already assigned to our visual notes. Once the project has been created, we'll create a new gallery view. 
we'll use the image property as the cover for our gallery. And just like that, we've got a gallery of all of our visual notes. Putting your visual notes in Obsidian works best when you have single ideas in your visual note. If you have additional thoughts about the idea, you can write them in text underneath the image. Doing this will also allow keywords to be found during searches and will also show up in the unlinked mention sections of other notes. Adding text underneath the image makes it so I don't have to go back and update the image every time I have an additional thought or insight. And if I ever move away from Obsidian, because I've saved all of my visual notes in recognizable formats, JPEG, PNG, PDF, they'll be supported in whatever platform I use next. Do you store your visual notes in Obsidian and have a different setup than mine? Please share it in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about the Projects plugin or DataView plugin, watch one of these videos next.